One team to keep your eye on for sure is going to be Exit. They're already on their journey, but it looks like we've already got a little bit of a fight breaking out, and it's E6 on our screens. E6 versus E36 keeps happening. It's the battle of the E's, and E6 obviously had that incredible game just previously popping off as they did yesterday, and they just seem to come out of the woodworks when you least expect it, this squad. Yeah, if you like the uh, fuse on E6, all of a sudden, before you know it, they start to catch fire, and we saw it in that previous game, a lot of support here in London for Element 6 as well, and I've got to say, I'm a big Case Winnie fan. I love the passion that he brings to his game. He absolutely went wild yesterday with that play. And you can also see how much it means to him. Every time he's leading his troops into a victory or into a big position when they put up points, the smile on his face is infectious. Yeah, and doing it for the rest of Amir, of course, our Element 6, as well as Ascend, who are performing very well at the moment. But you got to remember, at the start of the tournament, and even the start of today, E6 were memeing a little bit. We saw Rev Thane coming into the equation. They've been running all sorts of compositions based off what Twitch chat was saying at one point. But they are a realistic team that could be winning this event. They're only seven points away from match point. No one is guaranteed to be winning this game here and now. There are still going to be chances for them. TSM making their rotation. It's going to be the Skyward Dive into one of these sides of the building. You have to wonder if that team on the roof is going to be a problem. They should be able to drop inside without taking too much damage. And TSM complete their rotation. This is a huge moment in this lobby. Hitting that Valkyrie re redeploy, getting up into the sky. Onika close, and we're trying to hold down as much space here in Stormcatcher as they, they possibly could. The problem is with three people dropping out of the sky from TSM, they had to give that side up, which means that TSM now have somewhere to play from. Yeah, Thunderwatch is becoming very busy indeed, and Alliance are going to be sitting at the very tip of the top of the mountain to be able to watch down on all the peasants that arrived late. But what's good about that TSM rotation is they overtook Exet. Their biggest worry, their biggest threat on their rotation. I thought Exet were going to beat them to the pulp and they were going to be there first. But you can see now this building is going to be very habited. It's going to be very popular from a lot of these squads. TSM have to be very aware of not only who's around them, but losing their roof as well. Playing from this Ooh. position is very tough to do if you lose your roof, because when you do have to rotate out a little bit area, uh, a little bit later, excuse me, towards where that zone is likely to pull, you have to be so, so aware of what that team is going to do above you. Who is that team above you? Of course, it's Exit. Of course it is. It had to be, right? They may have arrived a little bit later, but they said this building also looks a bit juicy. It looks like a good area to hold. We get a good vantage point where we can shoot down below. And also it's a good spot to then move, depending on where this circle is going to be shifted. It's about positioning yourself for all these different factors. Ascend making a much slower rotation to this zone, though. They are outside of zone for now, making their way over from the western side of Storm Point. NRG currently hold up inside of the wall as well, maybe just doing a little bit of crafting, maybe just making sure that when they do approach things towards the end of this game, they're going to be looting and booting suited and able to take these fights. Well, Moist down on this low ground, they only need the one point now. Only need the one point and they are in a spot of bother. They have been targeted by two squads. They are cramming, them, cramming themselves into this little nook and cranny, hoping they can stay alive and maybe go undetected for a short while before they then make their rotation. It's always tough, I feel, when you only need one point, and now they're going to try and make their move, try and escape, but Exet, they're being relentless. Nocturnal just harassing them with his charge rifle. Lots of damage being done. And of course, Exet, the plan here with a long range is just to fend off any teams who try and take the other side of this roof as well. They don't want any LOSs onto them. And having that charge rifle as a secondary weapon here for Nocturnal is going to be vital for them to do so. Just trying to build up those Evo shields even more. Let those in the vicinity know you are the big boys in the area. You're going to be the ones dealing the damage, and you're the ones you're going to have to avoid when you make your rotation. Crazy that we have two of our match point teams in this building, as well as Dark Zero. Remember, they were somewhat favorites coming into this event, being the back-to-back -back land winners. But they still have quite a bit to do when it comes to getting to match point. They are nine points off. Very much achievable, though, if we don't see any of the guys on match point win. TSM still trying to just command space, still trying to make their presence known. And Raptor's got a lot of work to do here on the scene. The heartbeat sensor is not just good for seeing where one team is, but when you've got multiple stacked up on you, it means you can plan your next move. There's a team above, you know you can't jump on roof. However, if you see a little bit of damage coming in, you hear a few nades going off, maybe by kind of focusing where the positions are. You might have a, a climb up where they're not looking at you, you can do some damage. Well, TSM, they can hear a lot of commotion around them, and I'm curious to hear what they have to say. So we'll jump into a listening with TSM and see what's going down. It's all far right, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, team right below us, team cannon spot, and that's still the team right above us. 
Do you look at my left? I don't see anybody. He's sitting behind. Yeah, come back. It's a fire east zone. You see this? Yeah, yeah. I do. Not. Not. That's not good for us. We, we need to start bullying Evan. We need to start bullying. Keep bullying the team underneath. Who do you want me to scan for you? Just on I roof. can scan a guy right below you. Forty on here. He's cracked. He's cracked. Labor charge. I'm going back. He's, he's one. He's one. one. He got down. He got down. Yeah, yeah. Is the team still on the roof? Just watching inside. Yes, they're inside the roof. They're on the roof. They're on the roof. I wasted my ult. They could, that roof team could easily drop here and kill one of us. I know. That's why I I'm know. standing here. I finished one. Sixty on Bangalore. Height. They scanned me. Height scanned me. He dropped, the door. he dropped in the door. He dropped in the door. Oh, yeah. he, he, went back. Back he went back. He went back. Yeah. I'm, I'm checking yeah, out keep underneath. Keep coming that. Just, I don't have it. I don't see them underneath. I'm waiting. You I'm, four, I'm four or five. On yes, I do. Under, on scan Same under. here. Get ready to peek now. I'm peeking now. C come. One second behind you. 84 cracked. Down. Nice. He's playing a knock. Careful on height. He's one shot. He's literally one shot. He got out. Get back inside. Just the one guy left. I'm 5 3 now. Where did he go? I don't see him. He went down the hill. He went like south. As we jump out of the listening with TSM, I just want to once again highlight what a great job Reps is doing there. Just relaying information. He's the human UAV here for TSM. Well, E6 were able to take down another squad, but now they're being pushed. It's Space Station on the other side. They may have lost one, but they should be able to convert here, and they will. E6 eliminated. And that means that E6 did not get enough points to be on match point. Remember, they were close, but they are still now six away. Whereas Space Station, look, it's a 25 point game they need here, which is still achievable, but at least they can start planning as they're into the top 15. Space Station should be out of reset here. The res is going to come in. All of this action happening just outside. Off Thunder Watch, and you've got to wonder how many teams are stacking up right now. It's an opportunity to kind of talk through that, Dan. The only teams who are outside of this zone right now are NRG, interestingly, playing from the north side of the zone. And on the southern side, it's Luminosity Gaming. While we see Team Singularity taking a fight, though, it looks like they're trying to swing onto SSG and cause the damage. But at the moment, it's looking a little bit shaky. It's looking a little bit ropey. And it looks like SSG might have a way back into this. Well, SSG doing so well in this fight. Two still up, very healthy as well. Just need to make sure they're watching the angles so the other can shield sell up. It's a two versus one. You just need to play this correctly and hope no one else is in the area to try and third party. One, one, two, three. Might be thinking about having a look at this. They're moving down from the northern side. And if this isn't finished quickly and they can't hit that res and get it off quickly enough, then this is what is going to happen. So they've got to be very, very quick about this in the kill feed as well. Yuki just got a knock onto NRG's Nathan. Now that has huge implications because if they cannot get him up, then that would be the point for Alliance to move them onto match point. It was via the charge rifle, so maybe they have a chance, NRG, to get them back up. Also, confirmation, both Moist Esports and Alliance have hit match point. They've gone past 50, and that means they will have the chance to win if we get to a next game. Well, NRG managed to get Nathan back up as well. So, so important for them. And this rotate, it's very, very tough for NRG, but I like the idea behind it. They want to approach the zone late. They want all of the carnage to unfold in front of them. And then from the northern side, they want to try and take a little bit of space away from one of the teams who might fall in those fights. Ascend, though, one of our teams also on match point, having to restabilize here. And look at this, Fnatic trying to rain down some thunder, but the importance of that interception pylon cannot be understated. That means grenades. Any utility that's thrown their way is going to be eaten up. But look at the line of sight that's still available. Ascend in the mud here. Ascend just desperately trying to get back up, punching Kashir and Lufka into a position where maybe the revive can happen. They're actually the most eastern team we have out of our match point squads, because we heard TSM's listening. This is going east. We're going to have to move. It's the same for Exet, but Ascend, they've lost their main man. They've lost Kashira. So post skill, Lufka are going to have to go as a two unless they can deliver that banner to the beacon. Going to be very, very tough to do with how this lobby is playing out at the moment. Dreamfire uh -oh. thinking about going fishing. Can't quite hook them though, unfortunately. A little bit of damage being done by that Sentinel. Well, not enough to really capitalize on and certainly not enough to drop from this high ground position they find themselves in. Here is the massive play though. This could be 
a huge influence on this lobby. If NRG can find somewhere to play, if they can land and reset here, then NRG are involved in this endgame. But look at the shots that are coming in, but NRG are threading the needle here. They want to try and play underneath. And look where they're going. TSM are here, x are here. Three of our match point teams all in this same building right now. And you can see how TSM earlier on were prioritizing trying to take the team down that was underneath. They know this is a dangerous position for any squad to be in. Except will know that as well. We have three of our match point teams stood on top of each other and right now. A center not far away. That has to be said. And you can see TSM, they're peaking this. They are threatened by this new arrival into their household. They say we need to be forcing them away. But NRG also getting griefed by Ascend. NRG trying to reset desperately. But playing underneath here, even though you've got some cover, it, it's not great geometry to work behind. You've got the pillars, you've got some rock formations, and of course you've got the wall and the roof above you to shield you, but teams rotating in late, like LG moving uphill, like the guard, they can damage you. There's so many angles you have to be aware of. I cannot state enough just how impressive a victory would be from any of these match point teams from this position that they find themselves in. It is a very difficult rotation if this pulls East. We've got Alliance over there, you've got Fun over there, you've got LH LG already over there. So you have to work so hard as now TSM are going to have to take a potential fight in the doorway, but it looks like the other team backs off. Meanwhile, oh! NRG are down to two. NRG down to two, and it's Fnatic who are having an influence now. Fnatic are jumping on them. Gilderson's down as well, it's all up to Nathan. He's got a Peacekeeper, but NRG are out! Four becomes three. As maybe... Another match on the horizon, but still an opportunity for one of these guys, one of these teams to be able to bust out. TSM are still holding a solid position, waiting for that next zone, waiting for that information. TSM going to peek at the low ground once more, trying to just harass that team underneath. Expend those resources, get those shield cells popped to make sure when a fight breaks out, they're not going to be able to reset comfortably. TSM are playing this to a T at the moment. Ascend have got Kashira back Kishira on his feet. back! We talk about... Important moments, we talk about IGLs. Kashira is now back in the fray. Ascend very much still with an opportune moment to win this game. I would argue that they are the furthest east out of these squads, but now Lufka will fall. Phoenix kick gonna be popped, Ascend. The amount of teams stacked up is a problem here. Kashira is gonna have to slide out of the way of these grenades, just about manages to do so. Now it all falls up to post kill. We've already seen Ascend somehow or other managed to get back into a position where they can play this game out to the end, but it's not looking good at the moment for Ascend them. Ascend are usually so good at finding these kind of nooks and crannies where they set up with Watson fences as the circle again does shift east. It is going to shift away from TSM, away from Xset, and Ascend, as long as they can still stay healthy as a two, it's still very possible because TSM, Xset, and every other team that was in that building we saw earlier are going to have to leave at essentially the same time. Onik in a great position though, they will be in the one part of the building that stays within that zone. There's going to be so many important fights that break out in around 60 seconds time or so. Everyone, like you say, has to leave that building, has to leave the natural cover and engage to see if they can get some space to play from. Speaking of Onik, they have also go. crossed the match point threshold. We now have seven teams on match point if we get to next game. Exit though, they are under fire, they are in a lot of trouble here. Lockdown shield being used here. Sykes has got that one up to try and keep Nocturnal and Fun alive. Fun trying to hold the line at the moment while Nocturnal is going to be in position to pop that Barry. Exit, come back out and say, good morning, we want to take you down. Nocturnal with the spray does a huge amount of damage. So much damage. Back into the smoke. We'll be able to get a sell off. He's done enough damage to push the other team back. The and now they're going to try and get the res here. Exit, they're still alive, but Ooh. no! The gravitational lift, you can see it from Horizon. TSM have been waiting to pounce, and now they want to try and clean up this KP, take the roof, and TSM do exactly that. TSM had their ears to the wall. More importantly, they had reps on the heartbeat sensor. They were waiting for that moment to be able to full send it to take the top of this building. But in three seconds, everyone's got to go. Everyone's got to go east. And remember, Ascend are still there in that zone. As a LG, as a Reliance, there are a lot of teams that can ruin the day here for TSM. The important thing here for TSM is they've cleared this side. You can see Fnatic down on the low ground. Ascend somehow, once again, like a phoenix from the ashes, have three players back on their feet and a wonderful position now with this zone. So many times in regular season, we've seen Ascend win games like this, where they get the fences up, where they hold position, where they hold as much area. But now, TSM, they're making their move. This is a ballsy play from TSM. They want to try and take the height. They want to try and force Onik away. They want to claim the building as their own. That's going to take so much damage, though. But here comes Hal. Hal takes down Gambari Otasan. Fun 1-2-3 eliminated as 
well, and all of TSM are still healthy here. TSM take the height, they take the east side, and they are good for now, and they can ruin everyone else's day from this high ground. Moist Esports eliminated, and suddenly it's 10 squads, but TSM currently on top, but that zone is still pulling away from them. TSM need to not just think about kills, but need to think about surviving, and Ascend now, they're surviving as well. Exit have been eliminated. It was so Ascend who did the job as well. It was one of our match point teams onto another. That means we're left with TSM. We're left with an Ascend, but we've still got six other squads who can win this game. TSM just trying, just trying to influence all of these fights. And once again in there that kill go. feed, you have Ascend players going down. Now, the Valkyrie Ultimate, the Skyward Dive, has been a flip of the coin sometimes for TSM. On match point, on the biggest stage of them all, will they find somewhere to play? The answer is yes! They find a spot and now they're griefing. They want to take the prime position here. They know northeast is where you've got to go here. Smokes are down, but they've got the digi threats. Digi threats. Perfect to see through those smokes. Like you say, Reps picks up one, Verholz picks up another, and TSM are looking hungry for it right now. LG, you are gone! TSM want to finish this one as well. They can get all the shield swaps they want. They can get all of the ammo in the world, and arguably in one of the best positions now, but Ascend are still alive on that northwest side as we still have seven squads remain. The only team in the zone outside of Alliance who are down numbers is TSM. TSM are set up for success, and you made such a great point. Taking that fight, they're going to have armor swaps available. They're going to be able to stay healthy for longer. This game could well be TSM's. It very well could be an Ascend versus TSM finish, depending on how Ascend rotate, but Fnatic, they take to the sky. They could be big party poopers onto TSM here. They could very much drop, try and take this northeast side. TSM are going to have to hold their ground. Alliance eliminated in the meantime. Fnatic land, but only two of them have their feet touched the floor. TSM on Ninja Rest, house taking damage. The black hole's going to go down. He's desperate to get down to his long-time duo in reps and just about manages to do so. TSM holding on, they're into the top five. Guard eliminated. Member Ascend are still alive. SSG and Dreamfire are fighting, and Dreamfire have gone down. Fnatic a week. This could be Ascend versus TSM. What a moment this is. Reps goes in, should be able to get the shield swap as well. Three squads remaining. One of them is Ascend, one Fnatic and one TSM. Fnatic eliminated. It is a shootout to become the champions here in London between TSM and Ascend. Charge rifle shots hit. Who has the utility available though? Reps, you saw the Seer. He has the exhibit available as well. He can get that down to get the wall hacks out. That's gonna give TSM an advantage, but the last thing you wanna do here, Dan, is be the first to be knocked. Have they been tracking the kill feed? Do they know they are going up against another team on match point? Whoever wins here wins this tournament. Post kill, trying to take an angle, trying to get an area where he can put down suppressing fire to allow Kashira and the rest to get out. Ascend have got to make the play here. Do they have the EMP available? Is that what they're going to use to try and push from? It does not get more intense than this. Match point leaves us with two teams as Kashera makes the play. Kashera for Europe gets the shots in, but no shield break as now the fight goes down. So important that you get the damage here and it's done! TSM up in the skies! House goes down from the heavens! The stats said it all. Stormpoint was TSM's in the regular season. They had an 80% win rate from top threes in regular season and they've converted here today. And what a moment it is for that squad. Raven, the new addition, he brought new life into TSM. And they will be champions here in London. Your most winningest team in the history of the ALGS London. Make some noise for your champions of the Split One Playoffs, T.S.M.
Fellas, it's been a long time coming. Hal, I can see the smile on your face. What does this moment mean to you after all that you've done, after all you have heard online, all the time you guys have put in, all the adjustments you've made to finally hoist that trophy again? What does it mean to you? It, I still got it. You know, we still got it. We never left. And, you know, it, it means a lot. We, we appreciate all you guys' support. You know, we, we always come here to play our best just for you guys. So I, we appreciate all of you that coming out. Thank you guys. Even, even, though, even the haters, you know, whoever roots for NRG, you know, I still love you guys. So, yeah, I, pre I appreciate it. It is your moment, certainly, but I'm going to talk to someone who I think many consider maybe the rock, maybe the glue to this team. You've been beside Hal's side this entire time. You've been through the ups. You've been through the downs, Jordan. How does it feel to ha hoist that again and be a champion? Uh, it just feels amazing. I mean, it's been three years since we did it, and it's about time, honestly. We... <clears throat> We put in so much work with Raven. He helped us out so much. We swapped up so many different things. We still kept the, the core, and it still worked out, so. Thank you so much, man. Many people know this story. I want to reiterate it here and switch over, talk to Big E. I, I knew Evans did great things. Verholz, you've had to grow so much and mature in your role from joining this team from ESA, now meshing with Hal and, and, and Rep, seeing the potential, but not getting there immediately. You took the challenge on, and you had the support, not only of your family and most of the events I've seen you at, but your mother specifically today in the interview, the touching interview she did. Speak to me what it means about everyone's support during this time, and it finally got you here. I mean, honestly, there aren't enough words to, uh, to say how much I love all the support that you guys give us. Uh, you guys are the best, the best fan base we could possibly ask for. You guys are all the best, and uh, I appreciate my family for coming out, as always. And uh, we, yeah, we, we appreciate you guys. This man right here, I don't know whether to call you a psychologist, a, a master general, or maybe just the right guy at the right time. Raven, the coach of TSM, make some noise for what this man has done. Raven, this is your moment. You have earned it. I know how much you've given up. What's going on for you right now? I mean, definitely a super emotional win for me. Um, I've been grinding for just three years straight and I had a lot of people doubt me, but I stuck to it and I appreciate all the people who are supporting me and who had my back and also shout out to my boys for all the hard work and willing to give me a chance and listening to me, so thank you. Thank you, Raven, for what you've given to this community, also what you've given to these guys right here. It takes a team to get it all done. You guys have proven that as well. What a journey these boys have had. I want to give you one last moment on the stage before we throw it back. Ladies and gentlemen, London, your champions, TSM.